Welcome back to this Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Last time we, uh, set off a permacrete charge and, uh, well, woke up the entire jungle. And, uh, I guess we were supposed to be scared by the number of enemies coming in here, but, um, well, are there any more? Come on, it's gotta be more than that. Guess not. This uh, permacrete detonator led us into a, uh, a Mandalorian cache here. Again, I'm going to save before entering, and I'll have. Uh, I'm good to go. I'll have Mira disarm this plasma mine first. I'll save before entering because I want to make sure that I get at least one useful thing out of the cache. The last cache was just a uh, room in as part of the map. This one is actually a map unto itself. So I can go through here and, uh, you know, disarm all these mines here. I actually want to make sure I don't disarm them and I uh, recover them. But, uh, just for the sake of argument, I'll clean this rest of this stuff off up off screen. I'm probably going to have to reload it a couple times. But, um, we're going to leave these uh, plasma mines for now. Um, since Mira is into my lead character, I can just walk right through them. Let's see what's happened with these droids. Hmm. You can't activate them manually. Is there some sort of a terminal around here? Ah, no. There's a form. with orders. So let's see what they say. Okay, so we can command all of them using the key sequence there. And we'll switch them to rampage mode, which makes them all hostile. And then we can kill them all for speed. Actually, kill each other this way. Yeah, I guess I should have disarmed all the mines first. But... Ready? Or I could have just stayed controlling Mira. But now that I've done that, just, you know, a bunch of free XP, more or less. And I'll clean up the rest of this stuff off-screen and uh, meet you back in the jungle. Well, I don't know. There's some stuff here, and I've gone through twice and haven't found anything really useful. This Charak here is sort of amusing. Unlike most items that have sort of a chance to do something on hit, it always at least attempts to knock them down. With so, though with such a low, AD, low DC, I don't expect that it'll work all that often. I'll uh, gain my level off screen. Alright, now that we're done with that cache, we have to run, da run back to Kel Warren and report that we uh, got rid of those other scouts. I'm wondering if the uh, paths will actually be clear now because we uh, essentially used the explosion to wake everything up. Yeah, it looks like that's the case. Maybe that's why. Sometimes I, I remember having more enemies show up there, but. I found more of their scouts but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? Two groups. Surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorians. Find out anything useful from them? They mentioned something about a colonel. Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin is General Vaklu's personal cat hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. Okay. Um, are we done here? Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. You might, you might not. One last thing about the battle circle. Your actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See you at camp. And I'm just going to go directly back to camp. Alright, 
So let's start handing some stuff in. The guard captain. You head outside the camp. Remember. Right, right, right. But here's your Zack egg here. I'm impressed. Too bad you're a Jedi. You'd make a formidable Mandalorian. And he gives you a random item. And uh, it was pretty useless, but oh well. We can also get... He also requires you to... Uh, fix a couple other items. You don't have to do this personally, you can just have your party members do it, so uh, nothing uh, nothing super hard. The other thing to do is back here in uh, this room with the uh, telemetry computer to uh, just turn that on. Oh, I already did. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm going to re-gear up and get ready for more battle circling. I might be over-preparing a little bit, but oh well. Here to watch a fight or to... You have enough honor to face a champion of a previous day. Kelborn, what are your terms? Swords only. No items or the Jedi's force. And no sword of the Jedi's choosing. Just a simple long blade. Kelborn chooses to fight with the blade. You may fight with fist, foot, and the blade provided. No using the Force or any other item. Now, just looking at this dueling Vibro sword, 13 to 23, I'm actually better off barehanded. When you have really bad weapons... The match between Jedi and Kelborn is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. I underestimated you. A difficult admission for a Mandalorian. If you fight in the circle again this day, you will face the bravest and strongest of us. Braylor. Uh, guys, you could at least let me leave. Anyway, as I was saying, if you don't have a decent weapon to work with, you might as well just use a, um... Oh, that's interesting. If you uh, forget to uh, unequip it, it stays in your inventory. Anyway, uh, the uh, feats that you get automatically that give you bonus to hand-to-hand -hand damage will do you just fine. So, re-equip my sabers here. Here to watch a fight, or we eagerly look forward to this fight, Braylor. You are our champion. How would you fight the Jedi? No terms today, Sergeant. I would fight the Jedi with all of her arsenal. Braylor will fight you as you are. Still no killing and no leaving the battle circle. But you may use whatever else you want. Right. This'll be, uh... Admittedly, I mean, he's by far the hardest enemy here, but... Well... Let's just say that my equipment is a lot better than his. The match between Jedi and Braylor is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. You have defeated the most worthy of us. You walk away the champion of the battle circle this day. We will not forget your deeds, or the honor you have earned this day. Okay, what the heck is a Zabaka? Okay. Interesting. It's just a du double-bladed sword, and uh, it's okay, but compared to a normal Vibro sword, it can't be upgraded as well, so pretty useless. We have one or two more things to hand in here. I I'm probably just going to break down that Zabaka for just parts. Hopefully it's worth something. A couple more things to hand in. We uh, rescued our friend here, so let's... Uh, I was able to make it back to camp without encountering any other beasts. You have my gratitude. I promised a reward and I will honor it. Take this. You have deserved it. Okay. You know, thousand credits. Whatever. You found Kumas, and alive no less. And I suppose I should offer my gratitude. He's got a mind like a stunned Minoc, but he's got courage. He was evasive when I asked him what happened, however. Trying to survive in the jungle must have taken its toll. 
and you can rat him out, but we'll just, uh, you know, say, okay, whatever. We'll see if Kumis will prove warrior enough to be worth all this trouble. And he gives you a random item. And again, I am not sure what a... what he gave me. It must be a piece of armor. Yeah, it's a piece of armor. Interesting. It's quite good armor, actually, because it has the same benefits that this stuff does that I'm wearing. Uh, this belt does that I'm wearing, but it's armor, so it's pretty useless. Oh well, it's always components. We don't really need that much more anyways. We've got lightsabers, we've got no shortage of good blaster pistols to work with. I'm not too worried. Any progress with the re That's the best thing I've heard in weeks. I'll be sure to tell Mandalore about your help. Look, I have some extra parts and computer spikes. Take them. You can probably make better use of them than I can. Yeah, um, but that's actually less than I used to actually make the repairs, so... Any progress with the repairs or the phase pulse converter? You do? Let me see. I don't know how, but these pieces look in good enough shape to repair. I'll have the telemetry computer repaired in no time. Okay, and we can ask for a reward. That's pretty mercenary of you. A lot of us have been down that road recently. Here's some credits. I appreciate the help. Now, I have some work to do. Okay. And, uh, we'll go and hand it in to Mandalore, but I think we're kind of running out of time here, so we'll, uh, do it next time.